Wired Health, we bring together practitioners in all kinds of fantastically interesting areas. Technology, science, healthcare, cardiologists, we have microbiologists, we have neuroscientists, we have technologists. Everyone's thinking about one thing and that's how do we innovate? There are still two million people every year who become infected with HIV. One in eight deaths worldwide, you know, caused by cancer. In the U.S., it's actually one in two men and one in three women. I've heard a lot of new stuff today, which is, I think, saying a lot because I go to conferences pretty often. These types of conferences are great for, for exchanging, you know, methodologies. What inspires me the most is the people here who come here to learn, to exchange, and network. I would hope to see this even in other parts of the world. Ignaz Semmelweis was a 19th century doctor known as the savior of mothers. Why? because he pioneered a simple practice, the washing of hands between surgeries, and in doing so, reduced maternal mortality in the clinic almost 20-fold. Cancer doesn't have any purpose, it doesn't have any plan, it simply evolves. Everything from the conference today would suggest that we're reaching a time right now where technology is really exploding. If it needs to be done in the future, the people here are the guys that are gonna make it happen. So it's all about communicating ideas from people that might not necessarily get to talk to each other in sort of normal day-to-day -day life. Wired Health is probably the best place to, uh, to see the cutting edge in that regard. It's very interactive, uh, it's very challenging. It's amazing and I think it's a, a step in, in the right direction for the future. If you could choose for your child to have 2020 vision, what if you could enhance their empathy, their athletic ability and physical strength? There will be a day in the not too distant future when this will be possible. By the year 2020, there will be more people over the age of 65 than under the age of 5. That means more people need medical care, but we have fewer people to fund that care. The average life expectancy for a citizen of planet Earth is, believe it or not, including all the people in developing countries, 71. Aging's inevitable at some stage, but the longer degenerative diseases can be prevented from coming along, the better for everybody.